guys welcome to my channel and welcome to an apartment building video today i am building quite a special apartment because i am building the gilmore girls apartment if you don't know yet i am starting a let's play all about parenthood and all about the gilmore girls um so that's what i'm building today if you haven't seen the creative sim video i also did a creative sim video for the gilmore girls uh which i will link in the description in the eye in the corner and at the end of the video if you haven't seen it yet but today we are building an apartment and this doesn't really exist in the series necessarily uh, they did not really live in an apartment but they did start out living somewhere near I guess in like a separate building or something near the Independence Inn which Mia Maya I don't know how to pronounce her name um, provided them with because Lorelai started out as a maid in the Independence Inn but obviously there's not really I didn't really want to build like the entire Independence Inn and then have like a massive build to start out with that didn't really seem like the right thing to do so i started them out in the spice market in the new city living world semi shudo um so that is what where they're going to be living and we're sort of going to pretend that the entire building that they live in the entire apartment building is actually an hotel where lorelei lorelei works sorry <laughs> And uh, Rory is going to be a toddler, so that is what we're going to be doing. Uh, and I uh, built this in, I don't know what the building is called, but it's like the right building. Uh, because there's I think there's only two apartment buildings and it's the right one, if I'm correct. Uh, and uh, that has good schools and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I picked, it's a quite a small apartment, but I made it even smaller by, like, I don't know making like two rooms out of it you can see in the background i already built something and that's supposed to look like a traditional hotel room so they got one of the hotel rooms as their house for a little while uh, and it has a kitchen in it <laughs> i don't know there's not many hotel rooms that have kitchen in, in kitchens in it if i'm correct but this one does because they need to live here and i made it all gilmore girls style so i basically took their house that they live in in the show and um, it's inspired by that so it's all like cluttered and lots of like colors and mix mismatched stuff and just lots of fun i had a lot of fun using all of the um flea market stuff i never used that but it seemed so fitting for the gilmore girls especially uh knowing that they just started out i also used a lot of the parenthood stuff because this is going to be a parenthood let's play and i'm so excited for this obviously i mean semi shiro isn't really like small town but spice market does have that kind of small town thing and they have like two separate lots where i can place like a cafe where you know or a diner <laughs> Uh, she doesn't really know Luke yet at this point, so it's not really a point doing that. Uh, and I am moving them into their official home somewhere in this Let's Play, but probably when, I don't know, Rory turns into a teen or a child or something like that. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I don't have anything planned yet. Well, I sort of have. Uh, but the only person that they know from the show right now is Mia or Maya. I still know how to pronounce her name. Uh, because I made their landlord into Mia or Maya. I still don't know how to pronounce their name. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I had so much fun building this. I think I already said that. The kitchen is quite a special place because obviously like they don't cook at all. So they don't have any counter space and it's very cluttered but i love it and they have a microwave um, a fridge they do have a stove but they don't use it uh, a microwave a fridge and a coffee machine and that's basically all they have for making their um food because that's quite fitting although they're they are very very skinny in the show and i know in the sims uh sims can get pretty not skinny really really fast if you don't eat it right so i'm not sure how i'm going to be doing that because it doesn't really seem they don't they also don't work out and but i do want them to have like the same body shape as the characters from the tv show have so i don't know i don't know how i'm going to do that <laughs> with them not eat, eating healthy at all there's also like a, a, a very very big mystery to me how they ate so much junk junk food and still looked that good but 
um, it's 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 fiction. <laughs> That's probably why. And I just started watching Gilmore Girls again for the second time. I know, I know that people have seen it like 50 times by now, but I watched it for the first time this year, like in 2017. Uh, in my gap year and it's amazing so if you haven't seen it yet first of all go watch it because it's amazing and what are you doing why why are you not do why why are you not watching this it's the best thing you will ever watch in your life so please do <laughs> But uh, if you haven't seen it and you're still watching this video, um, this series is going to be pretty spoiler heavy, I think. Honestly, I don't like. I don't. I if you're if you're planning on watching it and and you're still like you didn't see it yet or you, you're I guess if you want to see this series, you might have to watch at least the first few episodes of this series because I am going to be talking about Gilmore Girls and I don't want to spoil you accidentally. I'm going to try to not make it too spoiler heavy, but it's going, yeah, it's going to include some spoilers probably, even if it's by accident. So I just want to, oh my God, my dog. Uh, I, w I want to warn you before that happens. But anyway, I'm on episode four now or something like that. And it's so much fun to watch it again. Seriously, like normally a show is kind of boring, especially if you watch it again in the same year. But Gilmore Girls is so much about all of the like quick conversation and all of the like little jokes thrown in everywhere. And it's just you'll never remember all of those lines, which makes it fun to watch again because I I'm catching so many jokes that I did in the first time because it's it's so quick that you just you can really catch everything. So watching it again is not even useless or like, why are you watching it again? Because you know the plot, but it's not, I mean, it's sort of about the plot, but it's also about all of the conversation and like all of the dialogue and stuff. I don't know. It's just so much fun. <laughs> and throughout this build, I was looking at pictures of their house and I noticed that there were lots and lots of picture frames on the walls. So that's what I'm doing here, uh, especially in the kitchen. It was like full of picture frames, which mm, I don't know if that's the, I don't know. W would you actually put picture frames in your kitchen? I don't know, but they did it in the Gilmore Girls. So I'm doing it now. Um, not the, sorry. It's like Gilmore Girls. There's, there's actually a line about that in one of the season, like the last season, there's a line about that. So we shouldn't say the Gilmore Girls, it's Gilmore Girls. I uh, also have trouble pronouncing that, so it's it's going to be fun. <laughs> I have trouble pronouncing Rory. Lorelai doesn't always go well. Gilmore Girls is hard, so I don't know what I'm doing to myself by doing this Let's Play, but uh, apparently I am. But I had so much fun building this. I never really take my time on decorating, because just decorating this one room or two, I guess, with the bathroom, but I didn't really I don't know I just put in stuff I don't really I don't like decorating bathrooms I never take my time on it especially because I always make really really tiny bathrooms so there's not really much room and since the entire build is so cluttered already I just wanted something simple so I didn't really take much time on that so just decorating this one room even though it did have a living room bedroom and kitchen in it uh, which was quite a challenge it took me an hour and a half like an hour and 38 minutes or something, 39, I don't know. Uh, so a pretty long time. So imagine me decorating an entire house in this style, I would basically die, which is why I like building tiny houses because I'm not very quick in what I do. I'm not very good at doing stuff quickly. It's been a common theme throughout my entire life. What I'm doing right now is a trick for making things look more cluttered. I learned that from a Lil Simsy video, so no credit to me for this one. Uh, but basically you drag, uh, you put the, the thing you want to put it on on a different location and then drag it to where it, it's going to be in the end and then you can put it wherever you want to in the right in the right height you saw what I did uh, but again no credit to me for that one <laughs> and I will be changing that so uh, prepare for more me dragging things over that it looks like I did that so quickly but that took me like half an hour <laughs> or something that's that's a little that's not true like 10 minutes but still <laughs> So yeah, I like building tiny stuff. I like building small stuff. I was trying to make a separate room for Rory in this one, but uh, obviously not enough room for that. Uh, and also I used a lot of parenthood stuff. I, I've already said that, but I used the kitchen. Choosing the kitchen was quite difficult because they actually have a white kitchen with a like mint green countertop, but there's not really anything that I liked and I really wanted to use the parenthood kitchen. Um, so I did that and then I made the actual cabinets blue. I don't know if that makes sense to me, 
the color of Gilmore Girls is blue. Um, probably because A Year in the Life was so much about the blue. Like, all of the posters had, like, a blue color in it. Uh, but also because Lorelai wears a lot of blue sweaters. So I just, I sort of went with that and just used a lot of blue in this apartment. I love this apartment. I don't know if I've said this before. But this is basically my favorite thing I've ever built. <laughs> Which, I don't know. I just love this apartment so much. And I'm so excited for this Let's Play to start. I really wanted to record one, like, right after I decorated this. Uh, because, I don't know, I'm so excited. Uh, and here's where I change everything up and then realize it's not the right height anymore so now i have to fix all of it so yeah um that's kind of boring <laughs> So let's dive into some stories. I actually have quite a interesting, weird, crazy story for today. Uh, stuff like this doesn't really happen to me very often, so I don't always have the like the most interesting stories to tell. But today, I have a really, really interesting story. I already tweeted about this when it was happening, uh, but let's talk about it in detail today. Uh, so stick around for this because it's actually going to get interesting. So I was sitting in the living room one night. It was like 2 a.m., middle of the night. Um, I have a really messed up sleeping schedule and so does my brother so we were both awake but he was like oh, somewhere else He's in, he was in his studio which is outside of our house um, but it's like in in our garage basically so it was like I could I, I don't know not important right now <laughs> but I was sitting in the living room by myself 2 a.m. Uh, and I was just playing the sims casual not really doing anything and I looked up and there was this thing flying like crazy back and forth in the room just hitting the walls and going back and hitting the wall again and going to the other side and hitting the wall again and it was just constantly hitting the wall and flying back and forth like crazy all panicked and I don't really like flying things I'm quite scared of flying things uh, I don't like insects I don't like like bugs and stuff I hate those uh, but there was there was a this was a big thing like it was a bird size not like massive but like it, it wasn't a bug it was like bird size small bird uh but i don't know why a bird would fly into our house and that would still be scary but i realized pretty soon that this was a bat <laughs> and i am quite terrified of bats <laughs> those things are scary and i don't know why it's probably just because of like stories i was told when i was younger um or like things i've read about vampires turning into bats and stuff but those things are scary you don't really see them i know there's a lot of them flying outside they're not they're not dangerous at all especially not in the netherlands it's like there's nothing wrong with them nothing can happen but they're quite scary still it's just they're so mysterious and you never see them so having one fly in your house like crazy at eye level so it could hit your head pretty easily is pretty scary and i was sitting in the corner of the room the corner furthest away from the door so i had to cross the room diagonally i don't know if that's a word uh but basically i had to crush the entire room to get to the door and I did not want to run through that. I also did not want to stay in the room because both options were really scary. So I basically made a run for the door as fast as I could, um, protecting my head, hoping it wouldn't hit me or bite me or do something crazy like that. Probably wouldn't have happened anyway. I was just freaking out. But the thing was scary. I don't know how to explain that, but it was really scary. I wish I had a video of it so I could show you how crazy it looked i don't know it just it was really scary uh but yeah i i basically just went to get my brother and we figured out out how to get rid of a bat uh so if you're curious basically just open any window or window or door that was my original plan but i was like we don't have any windows that can open in the living room so what am i doing but it can sense the air really, really well. So if you just open the door to the hallway or something or any other room that has a door or a window that can open uh, and close every other door, it will fly right out. Like we just, I just, we just opened the, the, the oh my God, I can't speak today. We opened the door of the living room, closed all of the other doors and then opened the front door in the hallway. Uh, and it literally, like it took five seconds that's that's a lie it took like 30 seconds and he flew right out the door so yeah <laughs> turns out it wasn't that big of a deal uh but it was still kind of great crazy that a bed was flying in a room with no windows no doors um so yeah the door was closed so it couldn't have gotten in any other way than the chimney <laughs> so that's basically how this bed 
flew into the living room at 2 a.m. Which makes no sense because why was there a bat flying in our chip? How the hell did it get there? I don't know. But it was there and it was in our living room. So yeah, that was the great crazy story that happens happens, I don't know, like two weeks ago. I'm not sure when it happened. A week ago, two weeks ago. Check my Twitter, it will be on my timeline somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so back to the build for a second. It was quite a challenge getting everything to fit in here, but I think I did a pretty good job. I love how I divided the living room and the bedroom pretty well. Uh, I couldn't really use any walls because that would take up too much space and it would just be kind of awkward. But I think I did a pretty good job. The toddler place is a little bit awkward over there uh, but we pretty much we have a bedroom a shared bedroom we have a living room we have like a little bit of a hallway <laughs> if you really pretend we kind of have a hallway uh, and then we have a kitchen and a dining table or room or whatever so I think I did a pretty good job getting any ev ev everything to fit in here uh, and I also really wanted to decorate the, um, the toddler portion of this room pretty well um so she has some rory has some paintings and like wall decals dec i don't know how to pronounce that um so yeah i think i did a pretty good job uh, and i'm pretty i'm actually really happy with how this room turned out um i also love how all of the wallpaper is actually like consistent throughout the entire thing um but this is almost done the only thing i forgot was to put in a desk because i'm having lorelei in the business career Pretending that it's business school and not actually like b the business thing and that she works at the at the hotel But I there's not really a, a thing for being a maid So yeah, the only thing I forgot was a desk and a computer So but other than that, I'm really happy with how it turned out So I hope you like it. I hope you like this video If you did don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you are not yet It would really help me out and as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon Goodbye